Diana. Uh, welcome again to this mathematics class. Uh, we are revising KCSC questions in mathematics and our topic today will be algebraic expressions. Algebraic expressions and we are first going to look at part one. Then after some break we'll go to part two. Therefore we go straight away to the questions, case you see questions that have come in the past. Number one, you are told factorize, factorize 2x squared y squared minus 5xy minus 12. It was carrying two marks in year 2011. So how do you go about this? So you come and say the product is what? What about the sum? You go to the quadratic expression and you get your product. What is your product? To get the product, you take the coefficient, this one here of the first term, and you multiply with this last term there. So 2 times negative 12 gives you negative 24. Negative 24. What will be the sum? The sum, the sum is got from the middle, middle term here you pick the coefficient, this is the middle term, you pick the coefficient of the middle term, which is negative 5. Lana, get the two numbers that you add to get negative 5, and you multiply to get negative 24. And therefore, this would be 3 and negative 8. 3 plus negative 8 gives you negative 5. 3 times negative 8 gives you negative 24. Pick these numbers, go and substitute them there in the middle term, in the middle term. And therefore you write 2x squared, y squared, aha, uh -huh, plus, this is plus, plus 3 uh, joined to xy, 3 times xy, minus 8xy, yes, then minus 12, minus 12. You substitute them correctly. From there, factor out what is common in the first two terms. What is common here is you have x squared here and you have x. x squared and x, factor out x. It is common in the two. You have y squared and you have y. Factor out y. So xy is common in the two. So what will you be left with inside the brackets? You will take 2x two, two squared, y squared, divided by xy. What will you be left with? What will you be left with? If you took this, divided by this, you will be left with the 2. One of the x's will cancel out, you will be left with x. One of the y's will cancel out, you will be left with y. Plus what? 3xy divided by xy gives you 3. You come and write this negative here. You ask yourself, what do I factor out from this? You have 8 and 12, so the common factor there is 4. You factor it out, and so what will you be left with inside the bracket? 8xy divided by 4, you will be left with 2xy. Then, you write what here? Write plus. So that if you wanted to go backwards, you'd write, you'd say minus times plus gives you minus. Gives you minus. Then, 12 divided by this, you get 3. So, Lana, if you look at this bracket and this one, they are the same. Factor it out. Factor the bracket out. 2xy plus 3 is common. And therefore, you will be left with what here? Here you will be left with xy. What about here? You will be left with minus 4. And therefore, Lana, that is the answer. That is the answer uh, to that. We have factorized this quadratic expression. So number 2, Lana, simplify the expression, this, this expression. It was carrying three marks in year 2000, in year 2000. So, how do we go about it? So,
So, come and write your numerator. You can symbolize it with N, numerator. Rewrite it, 3A squared plus 4AB plus B squared. Quadratic expression or algebraic expression. So, how do you work out? Factorize this out. Product sum. Product sum. So, what is the product of this expression? The product, we said, you take this coefficient of the first term, you multiply by the coefficient here. Here you have 1. It's only that it's not written. You have 1. So, 3 times 1 gives you 3. 3 times 1 gives you 3. Then sum, you go to the middle term, you pick the coefficient, which is 4. Which is 4. Good. From there, Lana, you look for the two numbers that you add to get 4, and you multiply to get 3. The numbers are 3 and 1. 3 and 1. 3 times 1 will give you that. So the numbers are 3 and 1. Count and substitute these numbers here in the second term. In the second term. Uh -huh. So you come and substitute these numbers in the middle term. And so you write 3a squared plus 3 joined to ab multiplying ab plus 1ab. But to ignore the 1, you write ab. You don't write 1ab. You just write ab. Then plus b squared plus b squared. So Lana, factorize these two terms. What is common? We can see that we have a 3 which is common. You have a square that a, a is common. And therefore, what will be left inside the bracket? 3a squared divided by 3a. 3a squared divided by 3a, the 3s will cancel out. The a will cancel out, you'll be left with a there. Plus, 3ab divided by 3a. 3a will cancel out, you'll be left with b. Come and bring down this positive down there. The same case here. What is common? You have b and b squared, so b is common. And then what is left inside is a b divided by b, b will cancel out, you have a, then plus b squared divided by b, you'll be left with a b. So this bracket is common. It's a common bracket. Factor it out. You write a plus b. So what will you be left with? Here, this divided by this, you'll be left with the 3a. And here, you'll be left with positive b. Yes, that is the factorization of the numerator. Go to the denominator, symbolize it with the letter d, and do the same. 4a squared, write it down correctly, minus b squared. You factorize this expression. Again, you write product, sum. What is the product? It is 4 times what? The coefficient of this last term is negative 1. It's only that 1 is not visible or it has not been written. So this is negative 4. 4 times negative 1 is negative 4. What is the sum? It is the coefficient of the middle term, which is positive 3, which is 3. Then you ask yourself, which are these two numbers that you add to get? You add to get 3, you multiply to get 4. Get 4 and negative 1. For a negative 1, if you add, you get this. 4 times negative 1, you'd get negative 4. Substitute this in the middle term there, in the middle term. So what would you write? You would write 4a squared plus 4ab, 4 multiplying ab, minus, minus, 1ab, you don't write 1, you write ab, then minus b squared, minus b squared. Yes, from there, do the factorization here. What is common? You have 4, 4, a squared and a, uh -huh. so that is what is common. Then, 
what is left inside the bracket 4a squared divided by this you'll be left with a 4ab divided by this you'll be left with b yes you come here you write your minus there again what is common here b and b squared b is common and so you'll be left with what a b divided by b b will cancel out you'll be left with a here don't write minus write plus why so that if you said minus times plus if you wanted to go backwards minus times plus will give you this minus so b squared divided by b b will cancel out will be left with b so this is a common bracket write it down there factor it out and you'll be left with 4a minus b and this is the factorization for the denominator so learn we come here now and we divide the two for the numerator it was a plus b multiply by 3a plus b divide by a plus b for the denominator 4a minus b look at that one bracket will cancel out that is a plus b will cancel out and therefore your answer will be 3a plus b divided by 4a minus b 4a minus b and that is our answer so we come to the end of part one let us meet after some break to part two, part two.